Hello, hello, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I am going to be cash stuffing my second paycheck in March. So let's go ahead and get this started. In typical cash budgeting fashion, I went ahead and took this cash breakdown to the bank. And so as you can see here, I will be stuffing $728. Here is what that looks like for me. All right, so let's go ahead and, oh, can't forget about my beautiful bank bag. All right, oh, and this cash breakdown sheet as well as the bank bag can be found in my Etsy shop. If you need one of those, this does make the banking experience a lot easier when you go to the bank because they're able to just take this, give you the money, and then you just go. I did just realize though that she forgot to give me a receipt this time what if all right so let's see we have 150 250 300 20 40 60 84 20 40 60 85 20 40 60 80 580 and i'm gonna put that in here so i don't forget 5 10 15 20 25 30 32 34 36 38 40, 42, 44, 46, 48. I don't know how I got this. Plus 48. <laughs> I don't know how I got this out of order, you guys. I don't know. This video is already starting off kind of shaky. Because your girl is tired. They wore me out in pre-K today. Woo, child. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 80. So we're at 700. Oh, you can't even see that. My bad. We're at 708. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So that makes it 728. Before I do anything else, let's take out our B's, J's, and A's. And it's so funny because when I go to the bank now, they totally because they know, so they kind of cringe with me when I find them. If you are new here, I do save the Bs. Oh, look, they even put them at the top for me. That's cute. I save the Bs, Js, and As in a separate savings challenge, which I will show you in just a little bit. So we had these twos and ones. So I'm gonna just set those off to the side and i always like to start with my wallet so i do have one receipt that i need to scan into the fetch app if you are new to budgeting the fetch app is fantastic it's a great way to earn gift cards so basically you take your receipts you scan them into the app and then you collect points and from there you are able to redeem those points for gift cards so if you choose to sign up using my code you earn points I earn points. We both get gift cards. Win-win. Let's do it. Um, but I did over the week, weeks, whatever, I don't know, um, collected four Bs and A books. So I will stick those to the side. And again, I keep saying that, but just in case you're new, the $1 bill and the $2 bill does have these initials here. So I collect the ones that say B, J or A, and those are the initials in my name. So that is it for that. I do have some change, which I do empty periodically off camera just because my wallet gets too heavy. So I'm going to dump that out. And this is a wallet from Moterm. It's in this like cream croc pattern and I love it but I do think I am going to switch wallets again pretty soon because I have so many of them all right so there is that and then back here is where I keep my cash so in household I oh I got some money gone girl oh snap all right, so in household, I have 10, 20, 25, and 26. So I will be putting this to the side to add to my uh, binder. Beauty Household is now empty. Beauty is empty. Food, 
Y'all keep breaking all my envelopes. Moving too fast. All right, so food has five, six, seven, eight. And honestly, the only reason my food still has money is because one of the places I went to to buy like some snacks, it only took um, debit cards. Like it would, it only took cards, it wouldn't take cash. So, um, and then in miscellaneous, I have, what, $20. I do not take the money out of miscellaneous because yeah, I always go over budget. So this way, it just kind of helps me with the cash process. Not always, but you know what I mean. It just helps me to make sure that I have enough cash for, oh, for spending. All right, so to replace, so all of this money, I will show you as well where this goes in just a little bit. So I'm gonna put that to the side. I feel like my desk is getting smaller. All right, so for the house, I'm going to take 25 and this will go into household so 10 20 and no 30 10 20 25 and 30 and i'm going to put 15 dollars in my wallet for now and the other 15 i will save for next week because if i keep it all in my wallet at the same time i tend to spend it like ball out the first week and then the next week I'm like uh where'd all my money go so that goes in household beauty is going to get $48 so 20 40 5 6 7 8 dollars in beauty and this is money for my nails I had additional money in here but I pulled it or something. I don't even remember what I pulled it for, but I did. Uh, food is going to get 50. And again, I'm going to do 20, 40, 45, and 50. So 25 will go in now. The other 25 I will put in next week. And then for miscellaneous, I budget 40, but because I took out one two three four five ones i'm only going to get 35 so 10 20 30 31 32 33 34 35 so the b's j's and a's does come out of my miscellaneous funds so i am going to just put the 15 in here and i will save the 20 for next time because obviously normally I would put 20 and 20 so I will save the 20 for next week all right so now miscellaneous has 30 31 32 33 34 and 35 all right so my wallet is stuffed in case you're wondering, the money that I use for gas and grocery, like additional groceries, is in a separate checking account that literally only has money for gas and groceries in it. And I do that because I do like to do um, Upside, which is another app that you can use to earn rewards points. But I do use Upside when I'm able to, and you have to use a debit card with that. So I will link the my code for fetch and upside in the description box below be sure to go and check that out but yeah and then for my groceries i typically do walmart pickups just because that has eliminated the impulse shopping for me which is obviously a great thing so all right so then next we're gonna go um, let's do this one first all right so birthday for birthdays this time, I'm going to add 50. And so now birthdays has 100, 150, $200. And this will be for, most of this will be gone in April, just because my best friend's birthday is coming up and we go, we go hard. All right, so now $200 in birthday for travel. I am going to add $100 because I do have a couple more trips planned 
soon, one in June and one in November. So I want to make sure I have a plenty of funds for those. So travel now has 150, 70, 90, 210, 220, 225, which is good. Planners <laughs> is getting $20 when in real life is, is like negative because I have been shopping, but I've just been using the buffer that I have in my account. Christmas is going to get 20 this time. So now we have 30 in Christmas, which I don't really spend a ton of money for Christmas, but you know. All right, clothes is going to get 20. Clothes should also be empty because I just bought some new shoes, but we're gonna, you know, I used some birthday funds for that, so we're good. All right, so now clothes has 20. Car maintenance, I am adding 40. So 20 and 40. And car maintenance now has 20 40 60 81 10 and 15 and i will probably be using some of this for my uh like registration um i don't remember how much that is but yeah i totally forgot how much that was uh, i started talking before i wrote it down 20 40 60 81 10 and 15 okay 115 in car maintenance, which is awesome. And then giving is going to get $10. So now giving has 15. And this envelope is just in the event that someone reaches out and says that they need something so that I have those funds available. And what I have is what I have to give. So there is my sinking well i don't know sinking funds high priority i don't know you guys whatever anyway <laughs> there's this binder this binder is also available on my shop you are able to get the front customized as well as the envelopes so if you're interested in that go check out brandy janae co on etsy all right and then uh let's do the big boy this binder here i did purchase from hobby lobby it's an A5 size binder from Hobby Lobby, but I do sell the envelopes in my shop. So bills is going to get $50. And I forgot again to update the trackers, but I will do that off camera. So bills now has 100, 150, 170, 190, which is good. And eventually I would like for this to be like a month ahead, but I'm just slowly adding to it because this year's primary goal is to pay off debt. So speaking of debt, <laughs> um, I am going to add $50 to this one as well. And so debt now has 50, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think that's right. $215. And this money will be gone the next time you see this envelope because I'm going to take it and obviously make a, an additional debt payment. So a lot of this money is extra in here because I did complete one of my savings challenges. I actually completed the 100 Honeys savings challenge from Two Sister Bees. And so I went ahead and took these funds out after I completed the challenge and stuck them in here to pay for debt. You have not seen this video yet. So surprise! <laughs> I finished a uh, savings challenge and that will be in my next bonus cash stuffing video. So a little out of order, but you know, whatever. All right. So for medical, I'm going to do $30 and this is money that I use for like copays or prescriptions or whatever. 
So medical now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, which is awesome. Car is going to get 20. I do want to buy myself a new car sooner rather than later. So this will just help with the down payment. 20, 40, 50, 1, 2, and 3. My goal is to get a to be able to get a new car by my next birthday. And then Brandy Janae, this is where the B's, J's, and A's comes in. I'm going to add 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. All right. And this money will not be, I do count it, but it will not be like bill exchanged or anything until the end of the year. So I'm literally going to just keep it going. Even if I have to put it in a box or a jar or whatever, because it's too big for the envelope, that's what's going to happen. So now it has two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So that puts us at fifty. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So fifty nine dollars saved so far. And this money will be used either for my Etsy shop or my uh youtube channel so just whatever i decide i need at the time and then the monthly challenge which is the march challenge is available in my etsy shop i'm going to be adding 50 dollars to this so now it has 100 50 70 90 and 100 so that means i completed this challenge as well so far i've been able to do this every month which is absolutely amazing there may be some months where i'm not able to do it so i'm really grateful that i am able to do it right now um so i'm gonna go ahead i don't normally do this but i'm gonna go ahead and add this to the debt folder just so that i don't have to look for it later <laughs> and then obviously next month i will start the april challenge all right and then last but not least we have our sinking funds and this one is going to get 43 dollars so 20 40 41 42 and 43 so this challenge should also be completed now assuming that i did my math correctly 10 20 25 30 35 40 41 42 43, oh no, 44, 45, I did something wrong. <sighs> We're going to take it out of here. We're going to take it out of here and this rollover money. We're going to do it. I don't care. I want it done. <laughs> so we're doing it. All right. So sinking funds. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're doing it because it's my money. So that's what we're doing. I'm done with this challenge though. I'm ready to move on. And so my new phone challenge for right now will be, I think what I'm focusing on. I don't know if I may change that up because new phone I'm not planning on getting for another year. So uh, we'll see. So anyway, sinking funds has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 35. So I will be putting this money to the side and it will go to some additional savings challenges. Actually, I think I'll just stick it back here no let me stick it in the front pocket so i don't forget but this money will be going in to like my other sinking funds so i'm gonna just put that there and yay savings challenge done whoop, whoop. all right and then i'm not stuffing any of these because i do stuff these with bonus money oh you know what let's make this one from two sister bees the next challenge that I focus on. 
Let's do that instead of the phone. Oops. Yeah, we'll do this one. Because although the phone is important, like I said, I'm not planning on getting a new phone until like well into next year. So it's not an emergency. All right, so this will be the 500, I think it's a $500. Yeah, say $500. So we'll do that one because that'll be an excellent additional debt payment. So we'll focus on that one. And then um, these other ones, I only stuff with bonus money. So be sure to go watch those videos to see my bonus cash stuffings. All right, so the big binder is finished. Next, oh, 143, no, 135 is what that is. All right, so next in the 50 envelopes, I am stuffing $39. So I have a 32, no, that's 38. Where did I get 39 from? <sighs> I don't know, you guys. I'm all over the place. All right, so 20, 30, 31, and 32 will go in this one. And I did create these envelopes in this box, but I don't, I don't currently sell this. I'm not sure if I want to, honestly, because the envelopes are so much work. So, yeah, so 32 and 6. I don't know where I got 39 from. 5 and 6. And one, I was trying to keep track of, like, which ones I was stuffing every month, and then I literally dropped the entire container on the floor. So there went that plan. All right, so then for the next time, I'm going to do a 40. And, oh, no, nope, nope mm -mm, not 40 and 41. Nope, not going to be able to do it. Um, I could probably do a 40 and a, no, nope. Because I know my next check is not going to be as high as this one is. Okay, mm -hmm, we'll do this one. Well, okay, we'll do an eight. So a 40 and an eight will be 48 dollars and that'll be what I stuff for my next and I do not calculate the envelopes so I don't really know how much money I have I mean I can figure it out but I don't really want to all right so then why do I have ones left hmm why do I have ones left I don't know, friends. I got this all messed up somehow. If anybody knows why I have ones left, please leave me a comment. <laughs> hey guys, it's Future Brandy. I messed up in the beginning when I put the $35 in my miscellaneous folder because it should have actually been $39 that went in miscellaneous. I only took one B out of the actual money that I got from the bank. And then the other money was from my wallet, like leftover money. So that is why I have the extra money. Our savings challenge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Do I have $12? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. Only seven ones. That's okay. Close. So we will color in seven circles. I don't know. If I figure out where those dollars go, then I'll, I don't know. I'm tired. Did I mention that? I think I told y'all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So I added seven, now I have 27. I'm adding, oops, adding 10 to the fives, 
20 to the tens, nothing to the twenties. All right, let's see how many twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Woohoo! Twelve dollars in twos. I had planned on finishing this challenge today because I'm kind of tired of looking at it, but they had B's and J's on them. <laughs> so what's this? Six twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I will have to get some more twos next time. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so now we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58. So, $58 in twos. And these will go towards debt when they are completed. Um, I did condense the five, so that's why there aren't any fives in here, but I'm adding two so now we have 20 30 35 and 40 and if i condensed it that just means i need to change for something else <laughs> or this envelope this was getting too big and so i shrunk it to make it a little thinner all right and then i am adding two tins from my rollover And now we have 10, 20, 30, and 40. And we still only have, it might take me a long time to finish this 20s. So we still only have two 20s, so we will leave that at 40. And that is that, you guys. Um, so, oh, one thing I do want to mention though, while I'm here is that a, I did add a business binder, which I hope to be able to start stuffing more often. Um, so I've created these envelopes. So this one is taxes. I have one for expenses, one for my PO box. I did add $20 in here. Oh, that I know where that money came from. This is from my, um, Remember I told you guys I used the money from my beauty envelope? This this is where that went. So 20 of it went in here. And then I do think I put the rest of it in my wallet. So, um, so anyway, P.O. Box, subscriptions, giveaways, and then printing. <sighs> so hopefully as my business grows and my SE. I mean, my YouTube channel grows and all those things. I will be able to stuff this more often, but I will be putting money in here regularly for my PO box because I would like to get that paid off for like an entire year. So I don't have to keep track of it. Um, and then last but not least, I want to show you this new savings challenge I created. Isn't that so cute? It says save your coins. And then it is like just a mini album. So one, five, 10 and 20 and it repeats four times so you basically just take your cash stick it in here and then it's just a super cute savings challenge so if you are interested in this please be sure to go and check out my etsy shop it is live at the time that you're seeing this video and uh i think that's it for updates if you're a praying person pray for teachers pray for schools because whoo child um but yeah, that's it. Be kind, be safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.